Welcome growers. This video is about how to clean a radix. This process takes between 15 to 30 minutes per radix, depending on the tools available, the number of layers in operation, and the worker's skill level and motivation. Some tools that we use in our Albuquerque farm include a cart for easy maneuvering, a basket for collecting dirty accessories, a container with cleaning or sanitizing solution, a microfiber cloth, and a wet vac. If you do not have a wet vac, you can use a squeegee or sponge. You should also wear appropriate personal protective equipment for the chemicals you select. Our team always wears gloves, water-resistant jackets, and knee-high boots. We also wear protective glasses for cleaning. The main steps to clean erratix are shutting off the water supply and preparing water drainage, removing all water flow accessories from each grow bed one at a time, starting from the top and working down, allowing between two and five minutes between each grow bed, removing the remaining water with a squeegee or wet vac, wiping down grow beds with cleaning or sanitizing solution, inserting new dams for sanitation cycle. In this video, we are demonstrating with a single five-layer vegetative radix plumbed to its own pump and reservoir. However, the same steps will apply to a single module or several plumbed together. The first step is to shut off the water supply. This unit has a quick connector to easily disconnect the pump. The next step is to ensure proper water drainage. Here, I will open a ball valve that drains the reservoir to a floor drain through temporary plumbing. Depending on your plumbing, you may have to use a sump pump to remove water from the reservoir. Give your reservoir a few minutes to drain in order to decrease the chance of flooding. A note about flooding. Every operator floods the floor at some point in time. This generally happens when we are rushed or multitasking and not paying attention to these best practices. We recommend good boots, a separate wet vac for cleaning up floors, and a sense of humor. The next step is to remove the water flow accessories. All rafts, trays, and light barriers must be removed before continuing. The pieces that should remain in the module are the filter, retaining dams, and flow regulators if using a propagation module. Always drain the module starting with the top grow bed and working down. Remove all the water flow accessories from the top grow bed and wait between two to five minutes before moving to the next layer. This gives time for the water to drain so that the legs do not become overwhelmed and cause a flood. Never remove all the water flow accessories from all the grow beds at the same time as this will cause flooding. Since I am cleaning a vegetative module, I have one 12 millimeter and two 25 millimeter retaining dams for each grow bed. I will remove all three dams from the top bed and wait about two minutes for the bed to drain. The filter should stay in place until ready to drain the bottom grow bed. This will catch large debris and prevent it from clogging the drain line or pump. Give the module and reservoir a few extra minutes to drain after removing all water flow accessories. The next step is to remove any water that did not drain out. We recommend using a wet vac dedicated to cleaning modules. We use two different attachments to make the process faster. The first removes the bulk of the remaining water quickly, while the second has a squeegee for really getting the beds as empty as possible. Again, start at the top and work down because small amounts of water will still be draining. After removing as much water as possible, wipe down the grow beds, legs, and lights if desired. You can use a cleaning or sanitizing agent depending on your overall cleaning program. Wipe down all the internal areas of the grow bed, paying special attention to the corners as this is where buildup occurs. You will see that nutrient and bacterial buildup occur at the water line along the sides of the grow bed. This can be removed with a soft scouring pad when necessary. This is a single radix, so I have the ability to clean from both sides. However, many farms have rows of modules that are back to back. We recommend narrow head, long handled cleaning tools with soft to medium bristles when cleaning modules in this arrangement. After hand wiping, we prepare for a clean in place cycle to make sure the plumbing and reservoir get clean as well. 
To do this, we place one 25 millimeter dam at each grow bed outlet and refill the module and reservoir with water and turn on the pump. We recommend using the taller dam because it uses more water, which means the cleaning or sanitizing solution will have contact with a greater surface area of the grow bed. After adding the desired chemical, we let the water circulate for a period of time based on the contact time designated by the chemical manufacturer's instructions. When the time is up, drain the solution following the same process as before. If you choose to cycle the module with a cleaning or sanitizing agent, rinse the module well before you refill with fresh nutrient solution and populate with new plants. Thanks for watching. Please contact us for additional support.